Today, it's not fair. I haven't gotten any. Be patient, Odd. Mail call's not over. There's still hope. And I haven't gotten anything either. Yeah, but you don't know anyone else besides us. Mm. Uh, sorry, Alita. I didn't mean it that way. Alita Stoles, there's a postcard for you. That's weird. Tell us who it's from. I have no idea. I bet it's from Xana. He must be on vacation. We've had no sign of him. Hi, Alita. Thinking of you in Montreal. Warmest regards. There's no signature. I wouldn't mind getting something signed or not. Finally, this is for Odd Delarobia. Last, of course, like he is in everything. Well, it's a bad time. I was wondering how long my parents would forget their favorite son, and I'll bet it's packed with lots of goodies. But don't worry, as you know, I'm very generous by nature. Huh? I wonder what's inside. Is that all there is? Dog food and nothing else at all? Makes you wonder who their real son is. You or Kiwi. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. I won first prize in a contest from Cosmos Future and Formula Magazine. Oh, yeah? What's your prize? An aerial invitation in a jet fighter with a live fixed target air-to-ground strike missile exercise. And it's for today, too. That's cool. Yeah, but the problem is I don't remember entering the contest. You think this could be Xana's doing? Xana's got nothing to do with it. It was yours truly. Actually, to increase my chances of winning, I sent in entry forms in all your names, and it looked like it worked because Jeremy's name was drawn! That's fine, except that the prize can't be transferred. I'm the only one who has the right to go on that flight. No, you're kidding! Well, what do you know? I never even thought of that. Anyway, I can't possibly go. I've got to stay near the factory. Ha, hey, listen, you've got to go. This is the chance of a lifetime. And like you said, Zan has been pretty quiet lately. There isn't much risk. I can keep an eye on the super scan for you. Admit it, you're freaking out. You're totally scared. No, you're wrong. For your information, I'd love to go. Anyway, we've got to go to class now. I really envy you, Einstein. You're going to get the ride of your life. Yeah, I'm going to have one heck of a time. All right, now let's concentrate on this exercise. In a normal orthogonal figure, OIJ, on given points A, B, C, we first set up the points on a diagram. Then we calculate the lengths AB, AC, and BC. Then on the diagram, we place point D so that the vector AB equals vector D. I missed the beginning. Okay, if I look at your paper. But why? It's all on the blackboard. I know, but it makes my eyes tired. <laughs> hey, what are you up to, huh? Really nothing. I want to know who wrote the card. You think it was us who sent it? Come on, Eileen, wake up. Look at the postmark. It's Canada, not Caddick Academy. You're right. It's a real mystery. I don't see anything mysterious about it, Miss Stones. You simply have to concentrate. Uh, yes, ma'am. After your flight, we'll have a quick photo session of you and the plane for our next issue of Cosmos Future and Formula. Jeremy, I'd like you to meet Greg, your pilot. Uh, hey there, kid. Well, you ready to get your thrills? Um, I think so. Well now, our flight will begin with a low altitude takeoff, after which we'll gain altitude with some vertical and oblique climbs. Then I'll do some barrel rolls, banking, diving, and loops before the live fire strike exercise on a fixed ground target. In brief, we're gonna really rock and roll. <laughs> How's that for a flight plan? Not bad. There's just one little thing I'd rather you left out. Hmm. Oh yeah? What's that? The flight? Huh? Uh huh? Huh? Listen to me, I'm really scared of planes, but I didn't want to chicken out in front of my friends. So all you have to do is shoot a few pictures of me in the cockpit, that way your readers will be happy, your magazine will save some money, and my friends will be convinced that I actually flew in the jet. Hmm, yeah, well, why not? Oh, that stinks! 
Yikes! No normal dog would ever eat this stuff. Whoever said that your dog was normal, Odd? Huh? Stern, Delarobia, what's going on in there? Did I hear a dog barking in this room? Well, kind of. It was me. I said I heard a dog. It was me, Jim, I swear. Hey, you trying to make fun of me, Delarobia? No, it really was me. Whatever he, this homemade pate mm. my mother makes, that's what happens. Woof, woof. Hmm. Well, one thing's for sure, it smells good. Well, here, take it as a present, Jim. Well, I couldn't do that, Delarobia. Your mom made it for you. That's okay. My mom always told me to share things. Besides, there's plenty where that... Thanks, Delarobia. That tastes my pet, uh, my favorite food. <laughs> Guess I lucked out on that one. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Go move. Give me a smile now. That's it. It's a wrap. Fantastic. Thank heavens I'm not going into the heavens. Hey! Uh, uh, what's gotten into him? What are you trying to do? I, I told you, we're not supposed to take off. I know that, but I'm not the one in control. Sector? Okay, we'll go tell Yumi. Uh, see you at the factory. Tower, this is Charlie Foxtrot 41. Do you copy? Loud and clear, Charlie Foxtrot. What's going on? My onboard computer is no longer responding. It's gone to automatic. The plane's controlling itself as if some kind of virus are taking over. Santa! I'm trying to activate the software, but nothing's working. It must be a bug. I'm going to try launching the procedure for rebooting the system. No, no, don't do that. Nothing to worry about, son. We'll be landing soon, and everything will be back to normal. You don't understand. Xana will never let you manipulate the onboard computer. Xana? What's that, a name? Listen, kid, this isn't some kind of science fiction show. It's the real thing, which is going... Wah! Sir? Charlie Foxtrot 41, this is Control. Come in, please. Uh, yeah, here I am. Charlie Foxtrot 41, this is Control. Come in, please. I repeat, Control to Charlie Foxtrot 41. Over. Uh, Control, this is, uh, Charlie... whatever. The pilot's unconscious, but don't worry about a thing. I think I can handle the situation. Charlie Foxtrot 41, would you kindly identify yourself? Jeremy Belpois, 8th grader at Caddick Academy. Uh, sorry, but I've got to sign off now. But I repeat, don't worry. Charlie Foxtrot 41, wait! here as soon as I could. Great, you're right on time. Now Aelita can send the three of us to Lyoko. You should have brought a sweater along, because we're headed straight for the ice sector. Hello? Hello? Can anybody hear me? <sighs> Jeremy? It can't be. If he's in that plane, then so is his voice. Jeremy, I read you loud and clear. We're at the factory. If you guys have all met over there, that means there's an activated tower. Relax, Jeremy. We're on it. Just one little detail. Xana's taking control of the fighter jet that I'm in. Huh? What are you going to do? Unfortunately, the plane is armed. Xana must have a target in mind. Listen, give us your bearing and your position, okay? I'll check out your trajectory. Good idea, Aelita. Here are my GPS coordinates. N474313. E013445, and we're heading north-northeast, bearing 042. Nothing in sight. Oh no! What is it? The fighter jet is headed for the factory! Then that means that Santa's target is a supercomputer. According to my calculations, the factory will be in firing range in 15 minutes. That's all the time you've got left to deactivate the tower. <sighs> Hurry down to the scanner room while I start up the virtualization process. Are 
Are you guys ready? Here we go. Transfer Auric. Transfer Odd. Transfer Yumi. Scatter Auric. Scatter Odd. Scatter Yumi. Neutralization. for a little warm-up. Jeremy, I should have listened to you. You were right about Xana attacking this afternoon. Oh, don't worry, Aelita. I didn't really think Xana would attack either. It was just an excuse. The truth is that you wouldn't believe just how afraid I am of flying. The delayed self-transfer process is running. I'm going down to the scanner room now. Good luck, everybody. should be that way. We gotta walk there? Sorry, but I didn't have time to call up the vehicles. Well, you wanted a warm-up odd, now you've got one. <sighs> what? What's, what's happening? You were out cold for a while. Charlie Foxtrot 41, come in, please. Do you copy? I repeat, do you copy? This is Charlie Foxtrot 41, and I, I blacked out, but, but I'm okay now. Listen. We have now gone into red alert phase. We've no choice but to execute Tango contingency. Do you copy? Control, are you? Are you aware that we have a civilian on board? Charlie Foxtrot 41, do you copy? Affirmative. Ready for Tango contingency. What's the Tango contingency? In order to avoid a total disaster, they're going to shoot us out of the air. What? There's the tower. It looks pretty quiet to me. A bit too quiet, even. You're right, Aelita. Without Einstein and his radar, it's not going to be as easy as usual. Yeah, it doesn't take a rocket science to know that bad guys are lurking around here somewhere. <laughs> you see what I tell you? What's up, crab cakes? <laughs> Super sprint. We have to force our way through. Good idea, Yumi. You sure know how to talk to men. Yeah! I've been expecting you. Tell me it's not true, sir. They, they can't just shoot us down. That's the safety procedure, kid. But don't worry about it. We'll eject first. What makes you think I was worried, Lieutenant? No reason to be. Everything will go just fine as long as you do exactly what I tell you to do. First of all, put your oxygen mask on. In front of you, there's a dark red handle. Do you see it? Yeah, I got it. I'll start counting, and all three will hit it together. Our seats will be expelled, and we'll eject. Once we're clear, the parachutes will open automatically. Are you ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Charlie Foxtrot 41 to control. Unable to eject. Santa is holding us prisoner.
shield. Huh? <sighs> I got a bang out of that. shoot us down? Sorry, kid, but five minutes is not gonna make a big difference. And Will, I can't tell you how or why, but please believe me, I've got friends who can turn this whole situation around. Control? We read you, Charlie Foxtrot 41. Don't forget that we've got a civilian on board, a child. Only, I repeat, only execute procedure as a last resort. Over and out. It's okay, he's leaving. No, he's just pulling behind us to get a better line of fire to shoot us down. What's going on now? Another problem? Oh no! The missile's just armed itself! It's all set to be launched! Delta Bravo 89, this is Control. Target will be entering a populated zone in less than 30 seconds. Your orders are to shoot it down immediately! Roger. What's going on? Our missile is going to fire. Oh no! The factory! Delta Bravo 89, forget the aircraft and direct your fire at the missile. Roger. my remedy for a swelled head. Hi, Lita. The tower, hurry! Control tower, this is Delta Bravo 89. The missile's going too fast. I can't lock it in. No response at all. Santa wants to get rid of me, too.
Jeremy. So you're the mysterious postcard writer, huh? Uh, yeah. The hardest part was changing my handwriting, but it was worth it, wasn't it? It sure was. It reminded me that I'm not alone in the world, that someone cares about me. Belpois! I've been looking for Del Romeo for hours now. Have you seen him? Uh, no. What has he done? Nothing at all. I was just wondering if he had any more of that homemade pate left. Mm. It was really delicious. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jim, but Odd took off. Uh, he had to catch a plane. This is your lucky day, you know? Uh... Jeremy! Jeremy Belpois! You're really gonna love this, Jeremy. It's an incredible experience. Here we go! You'll go nice and easy, right? I'm not scared of anything, no 